I haven't talked about snapping yet, and it's an important concept that you need to understand when you're using a ruler. Let's just use a, a simple figure ruler, and that's fine. So when I grab my pen now, it's, it's going to follow the circle as much as I'm on it. And the reason it does that is because snapping is enabled. That means that our pen is, is like snapping in line with that ruler. If I turn up here, I have these two things that let me snap. If I turn the snap to ruler button off, it's going to basically not follow that now. It's going to just go off on its own. So the ruler's still there, it's just not activated. And to reactivate it, I just need to click on snap to ruler, and it's active again. Now that's the ruler. If we were using a special ruler, let's delete this. And if I had any of my special rulers, um, let's go to just focus line, for example, and put it down. And it, it wouldn't be this this regular one. It, we we have to use the special ruler snapping. So right now it is following the ruler, but when I turn it off, unclick that, it will not. It's just doing whatever now. So I'm gonna Control Z and go back. So that is special ruler snapping. I'm gonna have it activated again. Now what happens if I have a ruler like this, a special ruler, and I use a uh, another ruler, the exact same ruler, for example. It could be a different one, but these, unlike the like uh, linear ruler where you could have two of them and they're not in conflict, these are in conflict because you can't really have a line going to both this center and this center. So it has to make a decision. And you notice that they're different colors. This one's like a purple pink and this one's green. The purple pink one is activated. The green one is not. So what happens if I want to activate this green one? Well, this is going to be, again, that, that O button that we used earlier. Press O and we'll get our object selection tool. And now when I go over here and click, I get this, this little circle right next to it. And I can click on that and it'll change the color to purple, which means now this one is activated and this one is not. It also has this little uh, uh, crosshairs in the centers if I want to drag it around. But again, I can just press O again. And if I want to select this one, I go here and click on that little, that little O there. So now this one is activated and I, when I use it, lines will go towards it.